Question number seven. Uh, here we've got quadratic sequence, so we've got to find an expression in terms of n to the nth term of the sequence. Well, always the first thing you do is find the first difference. Okay, so let's find that first difference. So uh, between these and these three, then five, then seven, then nine, then eleven, and then thirteen. So the first difference is a sequence of odd numbers. So let's work out the second difference. The difference between the differences. Uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. That tells us, well, we find half of this number. So divide 2 by 2, which is 1. So it's 1n squared. Or just n squared is the first part of our sequence. OK. So... Let's write out and find out what n squared is. Um, so n squared is, it's right up here, that's 1, second term is 4, third term is 9, then 16, then 25, uh, then 36. Should be spotting something so far, then 49. Then if we start with, if we take away n squared from our original sequence. 3 minus 1 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2, 11 minus 9 is 2, and every time it's going to be 2 in this case. So this bit leads us to be uh, just the nth term of that is just 2. So the overall uh, nth term of everything is just n squared plus 2. If this gave us a linear sequence, we'd work out the nth term of the linear sequence and then just add it onto the n squared. In this case, we just have to combine these two. Right, now finding the 50th term. Well, the 50th term is easy. Um, to find the 50th term, the whole point of the nth term is not actually to find anything. So you're going to do 50, you're going to square it, and then you're going to add on 2. So 50 times 50 is 5 times 5 is 25. 2 to the range, actually 2. So if you wanted to carry that sequence on for 50 different numbers, it would be 2502.